National Weather Service in Melbourne has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Southern Brevard County in Florida, East Central Osceola County in Florida until 10.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 9.18 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, National Weather Service meteorologists detected a severe thunderstorm capable of producing quarter-size hail and damaging winds in excess of 60 miles per hour. This storm was located 7 miles west of Camp Pauly Fish Camp and moving northeast at 25 miles per hour. Other locations in the warning include, but are not limited to, Palm Bay, West Melbourne, Mico, Bear Bay, Malabar, Grip, Melbourne, Suntry, Melbourne Beach, India Atlantic, Indian Harbor Beach, Satellite Beach and Patrick Air Force Base. Severe thunderstorms produce damaging winds in excess of 58 miles an hour and or large destructive hail. Frequent to excessive lightning and very heavy rain will also be possible. If the storm approaches you, seek shelter in an enclosed building on the lowest floor. Keep away from windows. A tornado watch remains in effect for the warned area. If a tornado is spotted, act quickly and move to a place of safety in a sturdy structure, such as a small interior room. While not immediately likely, a tornado may still develop. If a tornado is spotted, act quickly and move to a place of safety in a sturdy structure, such as a small interior room. In addition to large hail and damaging winds, continuous cloud-to-ground lightning is occurring with this storm. Move indoors immediately. Lightning is one of nature's number one killers. Remember, if you can hear thunder, you are close enough to be struck by lightning. And there's another batch of rain from Marion County down to the Sumner. But the cold front is actually still far back to the west. It's actually not a cold front. It's a tropical pressure. We expect it to push on through here overnight tonight. And out ahead of that, with the winds to the surface coming up from the south, generally, or southeast and south, it's just pumping more additional moisture into the picture here. So we'll have the opportunity uh, for more showers and thunder showers to come into play. You can see the rains along that boundary out over the Gulf of Mexico. And just look at how things sparked up here across Central Florida. So that's what we're going to continue to monitor for you. And again, no, uh, the tornado watch in effect officially until 10 o'clock for uh, the eastern side of the uh, Central Florida Peninsula. We actually had them in effect earlier back on into like Sumner County and Polk County. Those were dropped earlier, but still seeing the intense rainfall here. And seems like they maybe have lost some of their intensity as we've moved along here in the last uh, 10, 15 minutes, but still really intense as far as the um, returns coming into play. Right in through here, what we're looking at is the potential again for this to bring in some rotations and moves over the intercoastal waterway. These are strong from Rockledge, and here's the latest sweep of the radar. So again, making its way over the southern end of Merritt Island, out towards South Cocoa. And when you get this right in through here, the potential for some rotation and water spot activity, you want to be really careful of that as you go from South Cocoa Beach, Cocoa Beach itself, up toward Port Canaveral, okay? So we're continuing to monitor that for you. Uh, again, this is the second tornado warning. The first one that's uh, set to expire here momentarily, but the second one uh, is expected to hold until... Uh, 10 15 i think we could actually even see that this seems to be pushing along pete uh, we've been following this one this seems to be moving on at a little quicker rate than the, not the last one yeah the uh, the actual speed uh, the official speed is uh, picked up i was going to mention at 35 miles per yeah. hour so with the new uh update on the tornado warning from the national weather service now we're looking at a storm moving even quicker at 35 so we've updated the tracks for you within the uh, computer algorithm to kind of give you an indication of, of where this particular storm is headed as jeff mentioned we'll go ahead and take you into it first off let's go ahead and look at that shear basically the the danger zone has been <clears throat> between rockledge and pinita now this is heading towards the coastline so it's crossing over the banana river patrick air force base coco beach all the way up through port canaveral these are the locations that we could see potential tornado on the ground as it does make its way offshore i'm going to try to put a track on this but you can see we're out in the water now so i don't we're going to get much of the cities popping up basically it's overview right now cape canaveral cocoa beach area this particular rotation again a very well defined rotation which you're looking at on your screen those are what we define it or called shear markers it's doppler radar indicating winds moving a 
away from and towards the radar site. And when you start to see winds moving in two different directions, that means that you have a rotating storm. When that rotation becomes a little bit tighter, the National Weather Service in Melbourne can indicate a tornado warning. And that's what we have right now. Tornado warning in effect again from Paida through Rockledge all the way over through South Coco, Coco Beach, of course, Patrick Air Force Base, all the way up through Cape Canaveral. That is the location that we do have a potential tornado. We want to let everyone know, as we've been saying throughout the night in our extended cover, make sure you're indoors, bottom floor, as many walls between you and the outside. You do not want to be near a window. The good news in Florida, we usually tend to have weaker tornadoes, EF0s, EF1s, EF2s. That doesn't mean you can be outside during them, but it does mean that if you take the precautions, you have a good shot. And of course, if you're indoors, you got those walls in between you and the outside, uh, you're going to be okay. Just continue to watch us here at News 13. We'll let you know.